Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, a different way to string your racket. Different way to tune your racket. Stay tuned. All right, so um, my man Dan, you know, he's the tinkerer. Mr. I'm going to make my own racket that I showed you. He is, man, I'm crazy, crazy smart. So he's also, I guess he's kind of a musician too, because he did something to this racket that I've only heard of in a stringing method, but he thought of this himself. So I was like, this makes sense because I know of the stringing method. Um, but before I get started, <clears throat> I got a large cup today. And my favorite was at Pete's today. It's Sumatra. I love that Sumatran tiger, you know what I'm saying? It's nice and strong, bites you in the tongue. Anyways, Dark Roast Sumatra, my favorite at Pete's, black. All right, I want to support my Sumatran tiger, bite your tongue, have it. Its network is buy me a coffee forward slash tennis spin. Link is below. Thanks in advance. Okay, so what did my man Dan do? Okay, so you guys may or may not heard of the Sergetti stringing method. So that method is it takes your racket and you kind of submit what your racket is and what tension that you usually use it at. And they do this algorithm and send you a sheet, like a guide map as to how to string your racket. And you're asking me like, what does that mean? So usually everybody pulls the same tension on every string. Well, the Sargetti method is you string let's say these long strings right at a certain tension let's say you started off at 55 so you string like four of these at 55 because of the length and then as you move down you drop a couple pounds so maybe by the end you're stringing these at 48 because of the distance so this is this main is shorter than this main and you're actually tuning it, um, playing for the tension because of the length. So this is looser than this one because the length of the string is different. You would do it also for the cross. Obviously this top one is shorter than the middle one here. Therefore this is gonna be um, tighter than this one. So, but what is that? method do for the racket well it basically evens out the string so that it creates a good pocket so it's supposed to increase you know your power your absorbency it it, it claims 12 to 70 percent coach chris was stringing it that way i didn't really you know and i've heard about this for you know over 10 years I just don't do it. I didn't really personally feel a benefit to it. Therefore, I don't really talk about it. Uh, but my man Dan here, not knowing what that Sargetti method is, decided to take a tuner from his music equipment and tuned out these strings. So let me see what he actually did. Okay. So on the crosses, he put ALU power black, 16 light. So these are the numbers in which he strung it at. So starting at the top, he goes 32, 36, 38, 41, right? As you get into the middle strings, he's actually tightening it a little more. And then coming back down towards the bottom. Okay. So it's a kind of sargetti method but by sound 
So he, it literally, he was stringing, putting tension on it and pinging it to see if the pitches were the same. So that's why I was saying a finely tuned racket. And then on the mains, he did confidential and he started 30 on the ends. In the middle, it's 53s. So 53s in the, the four and then 51, 48, 49, 45, and then 30 on the ends. So like I said, it's a form of Sargetti method, but to an extreme where the whole racket is tuned to make the same sound and pitch. I was like, Dan, man, you got a lot of time on your hands. So um, I was like, let me try that thing. So let's take it on the court. Stay tuned. All right, on the court, got my man, Coach Goo. Got the tuned pure drive with us. Oh, that's so bad. So what does a tuned, a finely tuned racket feel like? We know what it sounds like. Coach Goo, what'd you think? Um, very interesting. I can tell from what, looking from the sides of how they did it. Um, it was all of these strings had different tensions. So, I mean, I mean, it felt really nice. In the, well, it felt first confusing because at first I had to get used to it. Um, but slowly I started to enjoy it. Um, when you started to hit in different spots of the racket, I felt like it was easier to pocket more of my shots. Um, but yeah, it was really fun to play with. It did sound great and it did feel actually pretty good near the end. But in the beginning, it was a little kind of getting used to because every string was so different. But other than that, I mean, I had fun with it near the end and I mean, it's a pretty interesting experiment. I would say if you guys are interested to try it out, you should try it out. So, well thought out way of tuning your tennis racket, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's kind of like a almost. <laughs> exactly. I, I actually... It's not horrible. No, I, I actually pretty much got right into it. Um, I didn't feel like there was a dead spot in here. No dead spot. That's why it was getting for me to get used to because usually when you play with other rackets in the same tensions, around the outside, you don't hit the sweet spot. It feels really weird. But right. like when I hit it almost any spot, it actually almost felt the same. Exactly. So, I Even when I hit it high or towards the middle, it um, felt the same. It felt the same. Yeah. I, I was shocked that the way that this was, I guess, tuned out, it made it even out in tension i mean i thought it would just even out automatically because they're all kind of connected but however this was done and i explained that to you um it it actually it felt even i don't know how to really describe it but it felt even it, was like, it felt like one big sweet spot right right so um whatever my man dan did um it works you know i know I know that there's other stringing methods that are similar to this, but to take a music tuner and to tune out your strings, right? Kind of makes sense. Kind of makes sense. Goo, would you string your racket like this? Uh, I mean, I felt like it was a lot of work, but um, I mean, for experiment purposes, why not? <laughs> but if I wasn't stringing it, I mean sure <laughs> yeah i don't know if i would like to do it to my my own either because it just takes a lot of time and effort well i mean every single string is different right so it's like a tedious process exactly i bet it takes that i mean the maybe the minimum 30 minutes maximum an hour I mean, yeah. to do it right to because do it right, yeah 
So, I mean, I, it's a lot of work. You got, of, you guys a got of, a lot of free, <laughs> you had a lot of free time. <laughs> exactly. If you're like Danny and I guess he's retired, yeah. you got a lot of time. <laughs> All right. But definitely a winner. I want to thank my man, Dan, for sharing this with me today. And uh, I want to thank, of course, Coach Goo for uh, testing this out with me today. Coach Goo, where can we find you? Find me at agu.tennis. I'll also be posting content there as well. All right. Guys, thank you so much for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Sorry, I was like very close to your head. I didn't want to take that risk. <laughs>